I'm 9th District Councilwoman Tina Ward-Pugh, and I'm excited to tell you about Beargrass Falls Water and Sustainability Education Center at Karen Lynch Park. It's a new green park project led by our 9th District office, along with many other partners, including the Louisville Water Company, which has been named the best water in the country. Over the course of several months, Karen Lynch Park at Brownsboro Road and Story Avenue in Butchertown has been transformed from an ordinary community park to a demonstration and education space focused on clean water and sustainability. Beargrass Creek winds through Louisville, draining 61 square miles of the metro area. As beautiful as it is, like many urban streams, it could be cleaner. Our goal is to restore Beargrass Creek and make it more accessible to the community. So after much discussion, the idea for Beargrass Falls Water and Sustainability Education Center was born. The project aims to address the following goals. Demonstrate sustainable technology. Provide an educational opportunity for the community. Serve as a public classroom for the experimentation, research, and discovery of sustainable technologies. Highlight Louisville's considerable water assets. Become a model project that can be replicated in other neighborhoods. From MSD to a University of Louisville student, each participant in this park project is responsible for a feature showcasing ways to not only improve the environment, but also testing out groundbreaking technologies. It's always odd. So that's kind of a general 101 horticulture landscape architect lesson. The installation of a rain garden. This is really good soil involved a way to help absorb some excess moisture before a rainfall flows into Beargrass Creek. The rain garden really acts like a sponge, so it's going to filter or absorb some of the pollutants uh, that could, could have leached or uh, drained into any type of watersheds. The Jefferson County Cooperative Extension Service, along with several volunteers, planted a selection of native plants to help absorb more excess moisture than traditional grass. Purple coneflower is a good plant. A black-eyed Susan is a good plant. Joe pie weed, goldenrod, monarda or bee balm. I massage the soil, put my fingers down in there, get those air pockets out. If you're interested in planting a rain garden or learning more, the Cooperative Extension Service can help you. Any information about how to take soil tests, percolation tests, recommendations on plant material or design, uh, that's what the extension is here as far as the horticulture department. Our number is 502-569-2344. Another way to keep some excess water out of Beargrass Creek is by using a rain barrel. The Cooperative Extension Service installed one of them at Beargrass Falls by connecting a large barrel to a downspout on the storage shed. This building here is about uh, 1,300 square foot. It will capture less than a half inch of water. So it captures very little considering the, the area here. So with a demonstration here, we're going to increase the rain barrel demonstration so we'll be able to collect more rain water in order to irrigate the landscape here. The rain water that's collected is used to maintain the rain garden's plants, saving money and resources at the same time. You don't have the chlorine that you can find in our drinking water. There's a lower pH, so that will help with certain plant material. It helps with erosion if there's an area in your landscape where water collects from downspouts. You can hook up a rain barrel in order to reduce erosion. You can purchase a rain barrel for your home starting at around $75. On average, homeowners use about 1,300 gallons of water, so this will be able to reduce your water cost and in the long run will help the environment and also reduce pollutants into our waterways. Beargrass Falls is also a place for new technologies. A PhD student at the University of Louisville is piloting a mini water treatment plant. Our doctoral student Venkata is from India and he is very concerned about clean water in India. And so what we're really looking at is low cost water quality systems. Water is pumped from Beargrass Creek into the treatment plant through the power of the sun and these solar photovoltaic panels. These guys here are getting ready to build our solar shed over here. And, uh, you got a good group of guys here, plus yeah. you got a good leader right there, so. 
The shelter that supports these panels was built by young adults at Youth Build, an education, job, and leadership training program. One of the problems of Bear Grass Creek is that it's stagnant. The amount of water flowing through it is not sufficient enough to bring up the oxygen levels. And when you have low oxygen levels, you have less amount of fish and it smells more. The project uses very simple ingredients. You have these solar panels and those solar panels go down to a pump that's inside the stream. And that pump is going to pump Bear Grass Creek water up into this big tank. And that 10-foot tank is the first treatment process where it settles. Once the thing gets filled up, we'll come out of the pipe and run down the waterfalls and oxygenating the water. There's four filter tubes, and each one of those filter tubes is going to be filled with different types of material. Seashells in one, coconut husks in another, activated carbon in another, and it'll go through that, and that filtering process will test the water beforehand and afterwards and see what comes out. Once it comes through the filters, it gets put into those big troughs, and the sun heats up those troughs, and just purely through solar energy, you're going to have some killing of the bacteria. Another way to help prevent water runoff into Beargrass Creek is to increase the amount of surfaces that can absorb water and minimize impervious surfaces like paved roads and parking lots. Water harvesting is a way for us to better manage that water, that precious water that's in the water cycle, and be able to take it from its source and put it back to the source better than we took it from the source. That would be our ideal world. To help do this, the Metropolitan Sewer District installed a new parking area in the park with pervious pavers. By using those pavers, rainwater and other moisture can pass directly through, reducing the stormwater runoff and allowing groundwater to recharge. All these are projects that can help facilitate and be able to better manage this precious water resource that we have. Water is essential to all living creatures, but there are many people around the world that don't have access to clean drinking water. And that's what we do. We give people access to safe drinking water. Local nonprofit WaterStep helps install and repair water filtration systems and water hand pumps throughout the world. A model of a chlorine generator and a hand pump show how simple and affordable cleaning contaminated water can be. When the park is staffed, Anyone can try to use the hand pump to draw water from Beargrass Creek. Down the road, we certainly plan on developing more interpretation, as well as some additional rain gardens and rain barrels. Maybe there'll be a high school student out there who wants to do a science fair project on water quality in Beargrass Creek. They can come here, and the basic infrastructure, all the equipment will be here for them to use. So it's sort of almost an applied science center. We're being responsible for, with our water from the time it leaves Louisville until it hits the ocean and starts its recycling again in the world. It's going to show people all around this community, all around this state, and all around this nation and other places in the world that this kind of technology is simple and it can be done. The innovative ideas, energy, and funding to create Beargrass Falls at Karen Lynch Park wouldn't have been possible without a large group of partners, including Get Outdoors Kentucky, Jefferson County Cooperative Extension Service, Kentucky Solar Energy Society, Louisville Metro Parks, Louisville Water Company, Metropolitan Sewer District, the University of Louisville, WaterStep, and Youth Build Louisville. I hope taking a look at this project has made you think about what you can do to protect water quality in your neighborhood and around the world. The Beargrass Falls project will be completed in the spring of 2014. We're always looking for new projects related to water and sustainability to add to the park. So if you have an idea, don't hesitate to get involved. Or for more information, call the District 9 office at 502-574-1109.